Diving with the Oceanic Veo 3.0 is very easy. In this video, we will take you for a dive with the Veo 3.0 dive computer. But first, we will review its planning capabilities. While in surface mode, you can access the Veo pre-dive planning sequence. This is a tool that allows you to plan the maximum bottom time for your dive based on the expected depth. The pre-dive planning sequence provides a sequence of theoretical dive times available for depths ranging from 30 feet to 190 feet. To access the pre-dive planning sequence from the surface mode, press the advanced button until you see the plan lead-in display. Let's look at the plan lead-in display when diving air. This display contains the following information. PZ plus icon if selected, graphic plan, gas one icon, and graphic air. Press the select button to enter the pre-dive planning sequence. Then press the advance button to increase the plan depth or press the minus button to decrease the plan depth. Note that the planning mode takes into consideration information from previous dives such as residual nitrogen, dive profiles in a series of repetitive dives, and oxygen toxicity when diving nitrox. Okay, enough talking, time to get wet. We're diving at Shiprock in Catalina Island, California, and our objective for this dive is to explore the wall located southeast of Shiprock. The base of the wall is at 130 feet, but we will limit our maximum depth to 110 feet. According to the Veo planning sequence, we should limit our dive time to 13 minutes. My buddy is ready. Let's descend. As soon as you descend deeper than 5 feet, the Veo will enter the no decompression dive mode. When diving air, the no decompression dive mode has a main display plus one alternate display. To cycle between the two displays, just press the advance button. While diving, it is good practice to monitor your dive computer every few minutes. We are almost at the wall. We reached our target depth. Let's cruise around the wall and look for marine life. Hmm. The nitrogen loading bar is almost in the caution zone. And we're getting close to our planned bottom time. Let's signal the buddy to head back to the boat and make a safe ascent. While ascending, it is important to monitor the variable ascent rate indicator. Upon ascending to 20 feet on any no decompression dive in which the depth exceeded 30 feet, the Veo will display the safety stop screen. In this video, we took you for a dive using the Oceanic Veo 3.0 dive computer. To learn more about the Veo 3.0, Take the Veo 3.0 online specialty class at divecomputertraining.com. To practice with the Veo 3.0, use the eDiving Scuba Diving Simulator.